Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm taking a look at the Works PowerShare 20 volt portable vacuum cleaner. Let's check it out. What? What are you guys staring at? You're looking at my beard, aren't you? Yeah, I know I trim my beard. Yeah, I know I hate it too. Man, get out of here. All right, so first let's check out the box here. Right there you can see the Works vacuum cleaner. And this is model WX030L, if you guys were wondering. Check out the sides here. Boom, just the vacuum cleaner. All right, let's check out the back here. Yes, I did get the version with the battery charger and battery. And then right here you can see the extensions, but I'll go over those once I get in the box. Then you can see right there, yes, this does take 20 volt batteries. The suction power is 10 kPa. Right there it says it has 30 air watts. Right there, max runtime on the two amp 20 volt battery at full charge and then it says it weighs 3.53 pounds but i'll test that out a little later on in this video all right so i took everything out of the box you can check out the works portable vacuum cleaner right here but let me put this off to the side real quick and show you everything else that came in the box so right here we have our user manual and our battery charger manual we have a warranty registration right here and yes it does come with a three-year limited warranty and yes i did say i got the version with the 20 volt 2 amp battery even though i do have a few of these already um, I just wanted to get this charger because I don't have a works charger like this. I do have about three or four works batteries already. And this is a much nicer charger than the one I currently have. And this is a fast charger. It takes about an hour to charge up this two amp battery. Then right here in this plastic bag, this is an adapter for other extensions that you might have with other vacuum cleaners. But checking out the vacuum here, there really isn't a place to put this adapter. Um, not even in the little holes here with the other extensions. It won't even fit in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let this hang out in the box and put it into storage until I need it. All right, and now on to the vacuum itself. So as you can see, it's a cube shape, which I actually don't mind at all. I think it looks great and carrying it around, it just works. Get it? Works. I, I know, I gotta stop. So flip it around to the back here and you can see that's where you insert your 20 volt, two amp battery and just slides right in, clicks. Perfect. So let's check out the hose here. So it looks like the hose extends, I would say about two feet from the actual body and then right at the end it's hard plastic and what i really like about this hose is when you put it back into its groove here it's magnetized so it just grabs onto it and it's not like it's super powerful or anything but if i take my scissors and just snap it on right there check it out it just grabs right onto it so that magnet it's actually really, really nice. Then we have our reservoir right here on the bottom that holds about six ounces. And how you access that reservoir is just this button right here on the top. So if you give that button a nice little press, the bottom just swings right open. And while this bottom is open, let's check out this filter here. So the filter comes right out just by twisting it. So this filter is made of plastic and a metal screen. And then to access the paper filter inside, it looks like it just twist right there yep comes right off then after cleaning you can just clean this filter right off snap it right back in there and give it a twist there you go pretty simple now right on each side of that ejection button we have our crevice tool and our brush accessory and check this out they both have their individual storage ports so on this port we have our crevice tool and yes the crevice tool does extend out with a little bit of force. There you go. And what I really like about this crevice tool is it's made of hard plastic, except for the end. The end is rubberized. And having this rubber end is appreciated, especially if you're cleaning something that can get scratched easy. And the other storage port right here, we have our brush accessory. So right here on the top, we have our brush, and on the bottom, we have some felt, it feels like. And then as I showed you before, we have our accessory adapter. So if you have other accessories from another vacuum cleaner, uh, supposedly this will make it work. But I have this accessory from my shop vac and it does fit on this way, but if I have it fit on this way, it will not fit into the end of the plastic piece on the hose. So I couldn't get this adapter to work with any of my shop vac accessories. All right, so let's put these guys back in a storage port. And now let's talk about how this works. So our power button is right here, located right on the handle. And it's a pretty simple operation. Press it once, goes to low, press it again, goes to high. Press it one more time, turns it off. So let's try that right now. Press it once. There's low. Press it again. High. Off. Now I was pretty surprised in how powerful this thing sounds on high. Um, a little later on in this video, I'll be testing out just exactly how powerful this thing is. Now on the bottom here, we have these four rubberized feet. So when it's sitting on my desk here, it's actually pretty sturdy. So I really like that. So if you put it on the ground and have to use this hose, if I pull the hose, 
it's not gonna move very easy at all. So if I wrap it around this way, there you go. If I wrap it around this way, it's gonna start pulling it a little bit, but pulling it this way, yeah, it's it's grounded. Now let's talk about the run times on this two amp battery. So they said it takes one hour to fully charge this battery. On low, you'll get roughly 20 minutes of runtime, and on high, you'll get about 10 minutes. But say you want more runtime, well, I just so happen to have the works four amp 20 volt battery. And yes, because it is a power share battery, it will definitely fit in this vacuum cleaner here. And yes, it's a larger battery, so it's gonna stick out a little bit more in the back, but in theory, you should get double the runtime with a four amp battery. Or if you don't have this four amp battery, you can just double up by getting two of the two amp batteries and then you should get the same amount of runtime as you would in this four amp battery. All right guys, so let's talk dimensions. So I just measured this and it looks like it comes in at six by six by six. And it says it weighs 3.53 pounds on a website. So let's weigh it. All right, so let's weigh it first without the battery in it and it comes in at all right, exactly three pounds. And in grams, it's 1,362 grams. All right, so let's weigh it now with the battery. And in grams, 1,740. And in pounds, looks like 3.13 ounces. So it looks like it's just gonna vary based on what battery you have back here. All right, guys, so now it's time for the suction test. So I'm gonna start out pretty small here. I have these aluminum crimping sleeves and I'm just gonna pour some out here on the table and See if you can suck it up. And with every test here, I'm gonna start out in low and I'm not gonna to go to high unless low is struggling with whatever's on the table. All right, so let's start in low and see what happens. Oh yeah. As you guys saw there, that wasn't a problem at all, even on low. All right, just to give you guys a demonstration of how this opens with stuff inside of it, just hit that button and yeah, so you might wanna do that over a garbage can. All right, so for the next suction test, I have some dimes, pennies, nickels, and quarters. So once again, I'm gonna start on low. If it struggles, I'll click it to high and see what happens. So let's start the test. Click it on low. And dimes. Oh yeah, easy. Oh, sounds like I got stuck there. Oh, I see. It got stuck right there. I was trying to suck up too many at once. For the nickels. You see right there, it's getting stuck. These might get stuck too then. These aren't even gonna fit. See that? All right, so that was an interesting test. So the pennies and dimes over here had no problems at all. But when I got to the nickels, I was trying to suck up so many of them at once. They were getting stuck right here on this little inside piece. It's just not wide enough. But as you saw, it wasn't having any issues sucking up those nickels. Same thing with the quarters here. It was sucking them right up, but these are just too big. It just won't get sucked up. It's just not wide enough. But from a suction standpoint, it can definitely handle sucking up those nickels and these quarters. All right, the next test, I have these four 3 8 16 nuts. All right, so let's see if it can handle these. Yeah, you guys get the joke. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so as you saw there, low just wouldn't take those up. But when I put it on high and went straight down like this, it sucked them right up. So in my book, that's still a pass. All right, and so for the last test here, I have these four blank keys. So I just checked, it is wide enough to fit through that little opening there, but just barely. Let's try this, let's start on low.
All right, so it is stuck in there. So let me try to get it out. There we go. So it looks like it sucked it up, but it still got caught in this little piece right here. I know you guys can't see in there, but it gets a little narrower right about, I would say about two inches from the top right here. So if it didn't get narrow right there, it would have sucked these keys right up once I went straight down like you just saw. So since this is a suction test, I would say yes, it did pass sucking these keys up. All right, so why did I buy this? I bought this mainly to put in my car. I figured this was a perfect size just to have in my vehicle, just in case my foot wells got dirty. But the only thing I was worried about was how much suction it has. And uh, after this test, I'm pretty confident that I can handle anything that's in my car. So as a car vacuum cleaner, I think this is really gonna be a winner for me. So you guys might wanna check this out if you're in need of a portable vacuum that actually has a hose on it. Some of you already might have dust busters, but for me, the main draw is having it portable with this hose. It just works so much easier. And also if you already have a bunch of works batteries like this, yeah, you might wanna check this out. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Works PowerShare 20 volt portable vacuum cleaner? As you guys just saw, it has plenty of suction power for whatever you're gonna need it for, especially if you're gonna buy this for your car. Previously, I was using my shop vac to clean out my car, but it's just such a pain in the butt to wheel that thing out and plug it in, and it's just too big for that. So this is actually such a perfect size to keep in my car. It has plenty of power. I love the length on the hose here, the attachments that fit right inside the body, the PowerShare 20 volt batteries right here you can use with four volts, um, any other works batteries that you might have. I love it. I found this on Amazon for about 99 bucks, complete with the battery charger and battery. And if you guys wanna check this out for yourself, I will leave an Amazon link below where I bought it from, right in my description box. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!